What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina where we continue to trend up in our temperatures today. Well, uh, we are at around 66 degrees it was on the way home from work. Uh, yesterday, the same thing, gorgeous day. Got out on the golf course uh, a little bit yesterday afternoon. Uh, we are gonna drop down to around 60. Uh, but then next week we're talking about we got a day on the seven day forecast a day 76 degrees next week i told you guys that's why i said what i said last week we don't have much of a spring that's why we're already applying fertilizer and that's why i'm seeing lots of growth in my lawn clearly the fertilizer is, is definitely a part of that but the temperatures I, even the potted grass i showed you on instagram uh, i'm watching it every day no fertilizer it's beginning to just shoot up and grow just on its own with water so spring is definitely here uh, today guys we are absolutely going to get out here and mow this lawn uh the last time the, the last two days it's it, we've had temperatures like i said upper 60s the sun has been shining uh, most of the time it was a little cloudy yesterday and today but the sun's out right now um, so it's dried up as much as it can the reason why i'm getting on it today and getting off is because all day tomorrow we've got storms so more rain is coming in and as you can tell after getting over all the stomach stuff now me and my wife struggling with like a head cold or sinuses or change of the season whatever it is i'm wiping my nose it's disgusting it is what it is uh it's almost like pollen season is is coming or something but uh so sorry for the nasally sound that i can hear in my own voice but uh long story short we're gonna pull out the mower i'll introduce the mower to some of the new people we'll show you that might grab a few clips of me mowing, not very many, and then we'll show you the, the after mow. We're not looking for looks in this mow. Uh, this is not a, let's make it stripe and fire, man. This is, it is still soggy, it is still wet. Um, it is still, even I walked and mainly over here in the side lawn uh, in front of my driveway. That's where it's really the mushiest. But again, we're gonna have all day rain tomorrow. So you're talking about more rain, more growth, more mushiness and it's going to kick it all the way out until like next tuesday or wednesday before i would have another chance to mow this thing so i'm just going to take the risk do it today get the first mow in before it gets any longer and uh, we'll show you the pre uh before and the after so let's go down the shed all right so after we show you this i'll go and grab some before pictures uh just to make it a little more interesting come on man so you see, I walk in, look, it looks like spaghetti, orange spaghetti thrown all over my mower. That is my daughter, my oldest, who is uh, vacuuming out uh, mom's car for help with her cell phone bill. I've also got some ammonium sulfate down here um, that is not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be on the shelf. So anyways, let me clean this up and then let me pull this thing out. So for those that are new to the channel, um, now that we got the mower out, I need to brush it off, obviously. Uh, Honda hrx 217 this is the uh this was a gift from my brother and his wife um who is down in wilmington i've talked about it many times they bought this for quote the channel for me uh so i always like to give them the recognition it was very kind of them when my mower broke i was in a pinch in a jam they donated this to me uh for the lawn and 200 uh cc's up here you can see uh, the easy start system uh, it is great i need to wipe it down it's a little dusty and stuff but first pull uh it, most of the time it's first pull after winter something like this it probably doesn't start the exact first pull maybe two or three to get going but all in all uh, it, it has been a great mower you can adjust uh, on the side here, you just pull the lever in and adjust it. Uh, but if you didn't hear, Honda is not going to go into making mowers anymore. So whatever's out there is out there. Grab a Honda if you like it. I know the Time Master uh, is another popular one. This one's a 21 inch wide cut goes up to four inches today i'm going to go to 3.5 being we're in cool temps we're not stressed on the grass um we don't want to chop too much off i don't think it's going to stress it out to go you know three if i wanted to or three and a quarter i think it goes four three and a half and then three is my top three options here so i think i'm going to go three and a half and just be safe there the rain's going to get some growth to it as well but this is my mower and on the back excuse the uh, the dirtiness here but here's the big 
League League long. I probably should have wiped this off before I uh, threw it on camera, but hey, you're seeing it as it is uh, in my shed. But Big League Lawns, uh, this is what I was referring to for those that watch the Earthway assembly uh, of the spreader that's right behind me. This was the pain in the neck, putting these bars onto the Honda. I don't think the Honda was as bad as the Husqvarna I had prior to this mower, but it's not fun but I love my striper. What I do in the off season or soon here in the summer is I'll undo these bolts right here. This, this part will detach and I'll just leave these racks on, but you got to attach this, this, um, what am I talking about? This arm or whatever to your mower. That's the most annoying part on both sides. So take off that bolt, take off this, uh, this bolt right here. This part will come off and there you go. You don't have to stripe all the time. Looks like somebody else is going to be mowing. So anyways, but this has been a great mower. I like it. Um, I need to sharpen the blades. So don't forget, sharpen your blades. Go ahead and get two pairs. I need to order another set. Uh, I've had one and I've misplaced it somewhere. So I need to order new ones, have them um, have them sharpened. But we're going to be just doing a basic mow. I'm not doing the double stripes. Last year, the whole entire season, I did two up, two down. Uh, this one, I'm going up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm not even doing that. I'm just getting on, getting Getting off because of the wetness so you could just kind of see um, what it's looking like right now with just plain Jane uh, just growth it is lush it is thick some areas are thicker than others but uh let's put a mow on it um, I'll capture just a little bit of footage maybe um, I'm really in a hurry and against time so we'll see and uh, if not we'll just come back and show you the after after review of post mow So I just want to show you guys while I'm mowing. Today, I think everybody's mowing today, even Mr. Brandon, because this rain coming tomorrow. I am cutting way more than three. I mean, I'm cutting at three and a half inches. I should have went four. Look at this. This is just a prime example. Look how low. You can see how much I'm cutting there. It is, uh, look how super dense and thick this stuff is. Just for an example, I hope there's not a snake here. But I mean, it is tall, pushing that down. You can see my hand, just how tall. So I should have went four inches, but guess what? I'm not really concerned. But down here, 
it's totally fine. You can kind of see the profile there. It's fine, it's not that tall, but here it's super bushy and there's areas that are just super dense. That's what you can expect with our first mow though. Uh, over here, not bad, it's not as thick. And that's the, that's the terrain. It is thicker in some areas, thinner than in others, but it's not bad. I'm not too concerned. Typically I'd be like, oh crap, I'm cutting way too much of the blade, but it's gonna rain tomorrow. It's going to induce more growing. The urea is gonna kick in even more. So we're not gonna be, I don't feel like this is gonna damage or hurt my grass in any shape or form. Uh, so all of this, even though we're cutting it in some areas, it's getting a shock to the system being mowed short. We're gonna get rain and it's gonna get even more nitrogen pumped into it so all will be fine uh, after we get done with it and after that rain tomorrow all right guys so we've finished the mow i did end up double cutting the front yard because of what i just said previously um, i didn't get a lot I, we're, we're almost dark and it, it got cloudy here and so it's getting dark pretty quick uh, i'm going to show you the reveal this is kind of like <laughs> that's a bad example i might get comments if i say that it's like the 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 guy or girl that doesn't look so great and they have a complete makeover that's what i feel like this mo <laughs> this mo did we'll say it that nice way ladies don't be mad guys don't be upset when they do a makeover and you're like oh my gosh they look so much better they didn't look that great before but man that's what i feel like this mo is so i'm going to show it to you in a second first trim uh, looks better first blower we use the little blower behind me i use my little quick blower so let's turn it around let me show you what it's looking like I know the suspense is killing you, right? All right, here we go. Look at the mo, guys. All right, so first off, it's dark. Uh, the flagship has kicked in. Uh, this lawn is looking incredible. The camera, as Mr. Kevin has properly said, the camera does not do it justice in person. It's hard to capture what it truly looks like. It's more <sighs> off color. It's not as that dark forest looking green right now it's not that lighter looking green um so looking great we're not gonna just talk about how great mr ferguson's lawn looks but man it looks so much better as i mentioned i cut way too much off at one time it was probably six and a half inch lawn and i cut it at three and a half and so uh but i'm not worried the rain should really cause some growth and uh, these back sections even look uh really good um i can tell you know after by the time we get to may and you've mowed it so many times you start getting tracks the wheel spin from the auto spin on the honda um, starts to make little marks in your grass but right now and this is and remember for all the new people i have not overseed this backyard has not been overseeded in two years we have not put any grass seed down it needs it back here by the tree line but we have not overseeded in two years here's a little thin spot here it is definitely not full and coming in yet this is this was barely grown at all this is our jonathan green dense shade mix it need it's only been seeded one time it hasn't ever even been overseeded it needs to be that's why we got gaps over here this is probably one of the worst looking areas but moving on quickly before dark hits us uh walking up the side we just went straight up and down again i didn't do the two up two down um so i haven't done this is the first cut this is just you can really it highlights some of the triv you know that we've mowed down but we're not concerned about that the height and the and the color looks awesome um you can see this is what happens when we do too much at one time that's why i did the front yard same thing but i mowed it twice to clean some of this up it was too high you can expect this the first mow it's also you can see these deep tracks over here from where it's just mushy and so uh, i tried to prevent it but we're going to have a monsoon rain tomorrow so we just had to get in and, and that's what we had to do so over here uh, you can see some of the light spots as well as some of the herbicide it just it, it really points it all out over here over here it looks worse on camera but um, over here, we got some light areas by this tree and stuff right here. But uh, and then some of the brown that you see, um, some of it is just from where we cut super low on the plant and we just have some of that discolorization um, and that should come out of it once it gets you know it'll start staying at this height uh, but some of it is the herbicide we I went back as i told you guys we sprayed more of the speed zone and uh, so definitely wanted to clean up some of the weeds right here and uh, some of that it will not kill your good
good grass it only kills the weeds so that's what that is that's what some of these spots are so that'll go go away in time but you can see as i kind of pan mr kevin and my wife over there talking we cut this twice so you got the the side mows going this way that looks really nice and then we got the up and down i like the checkerboard uh little effect there um, so we're in the beginning first mow we're definitely not a perfect lawn man but it feels so good uh looking at a evenly cut lawn now i even took the weed eater to my little uh gci test grass over here so now it's more um there we go yeah he needed to get trimmed down so we'll see how fast he jumps back up as well and then moving to this side this is the most wet in the lawn but you can just see we didn't go double cut this we did a single cut because i really didn't want to even get on this but it is very wet in the middle of this um so but still it looks better it's all one cut swinging you back around here um, on the property line you can see this all looks really good this section is really full uh, and it's looking really nice up on the side right here little yellowing right here on the edge where i was trimming uh, it's been like that not sure what what's causing that but up here by the meter box and everything dark the, the flagship looks really good um, i did two passes over there which is pretty good for that that little strip right there so that strip is dark and it does look a little darker maybe on the camera i don't know if it's going to pick it up or not because it's cloudy and uh really that urea and that flagship man it is looking spectacular flagship is a great product um i will put it in the description if you're like man that looks good i want to try that stuff out check out the description hit the more button down there click on the link you're helping to support my channel as well as getting your bag of fur to try it out and again this wasn't even a full application this was the 18 pound bag that covers 5,000 square feet and uh, just a little bit of fur to what we already had from a quote winterizer last year um, just looks phenomenal so uh, there you have it guys it's uh, our first mo we're looking great um, again there's a lot to talk about don't be surprised if you cut a little too much uh, especially Especially if you're like me we got rain coming tomorrow so it's gonna be just fine it's gonna it's gonna grow out of that it'll be fine uh, also um, be aware if you got POA annual problems if you've got POA annual in your lawn you may want to bag your first mow you don't want to throw POA annual all over your lawn those seeds can lay dormant and remember the lower that you cut um, the lower that we cut our turf, the sunlight can penetrate the ground more easily. That will promote weeds, according to NC State and their um, really good professors over there, doctors of turf grass. Uh, we want to keep tall fescue at least three to four inches. At two and a half is, is cutting it a little low. Uh, you do what you want to do. Obviously, it's your lawn, but uh, the canopy being cut so down to the ground with no pre-emergent if you're not going to do pre-emergent you are uh, susceptible to the sun highlighting hitting some of those weed seeds hitting the soil and causing more weeds as long as you're going to post you know use a post emergent to handle it maybe it's no big deal but just keep that in the back of your mind so a quick one for you on this monday we finally got this thing cut now the rain is going to come tomorrow and it is going to rain severe weather possibly inches who knows but we got it done and so uh, we'll be ready probably to mow it possibly again next weekend we'll see what happens but the flagship is looking great let me know your thoughts below to all of those up north that got snow you're in the 40 degrees i'm sorry uh it was an enjoyable mow it wasn't it was a great mow to turn it into a striped lawn from a just regular uneven bumpy lawn it looks like night and day so god bless you guys i'll shut up with that one hope you have a great monday we will see you hopefully wednesday with another lawn care video take care